way that you're moving so differently Now this is all I want So if you make a move I promise I'll be there to ooh Give me a time and place Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're here for the first time, my name is Anne and in today's video I created this makeup look using the newest palette from Benefit Cosmetics. This is how the palette looks. It's called the Vanity Flare and it contains a lot of neutral colors. For today's look I just played with it. It was the first time using it for me but I just wanted to do a video where I use this palette. I really like how my makeup turned out today. Um, I feel like the shades on the eyes are quite cool tone, but somehow it turned out really nice. So yeah, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I created this makeup look. So if you want to see how I did this, then keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to start with is applying some eyeshadow primer. I'll be using the MAC Cosmetics Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. This has the same color as my natural skin color, so this is really nice to apply before applying any eyeshadow because this will remove any redness and this will make the eyeshadow last longer and apply better. So I applied this all over the eyelid using a Sigma P84 brush. Then I'm going in with the Vanity Flare eyeshadow palette from Benefit, which I was talking about in the intro. And the first shade I'm going in with is this light nude color, and I'm going to apply it all over my eyelid. Now I'm going to use this Benefit Cosmetics 24 hour brow setter. I always do this after applying powder all over my eyelids. Then I use some eyeshadow guards which are available at my website anytude.com. I use them very often and what I like about these is that they leave me with a very sharp edge at the end. So now I'm going back in the witty palette taking this soft pinky peachy color and I'm going to blend this all over my crease using a Sigma E40 brush. I feel like this color didn't really show up on my skin, it's super light. So I just blended it all over my crease using that Sigma brush, but I went in quite quick with a darker shade, which is this one. I think this is like a brown color with like a purple pink undertone. And I started blending that in my crease as well. I went quite a few times back in with my brush into this shade to get like more color payoff, which you can look at like in a negative perspective or in a positive one. Uh, because it's very light you can't really like mess up your eye look because it's all very soft so you don't go in with too much product and it will be too harsh but at the same time you have to go back in a lot of times which will make the product like run out quicker so you have to buy this palette over like again more quicker if that makes sense and also on darker skin color these shades will not really show up which is kind of sad so now I'm using this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid. I didn't want it to do like a very easy and simple look, so I wanted to do like a very soft cut crease. So I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid using a very tiny concealer brush. Then for the next shade I'm taking this light color which has like a champagne kind of undertone and I'm going to pack this all over my eyelid using a MAC 242 brush. Then 
Then I took this dark brown color, which is the darker shade in this palette with a tiny pencil brush. And I'm going to blend this all around like the lash line and the outer V area lash line, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I'm just going to blend it back and forth. I went quite a few times back with my brush and I'm just going to try to get it as dark as possible. Also, I made my brush a little bit wet and this will make it like even darker. So then I also applied a little bit of gel eyeliner. You can use any gel eyeliner that you have at home to make it even darker. Now I removed the eyeshadow guards and you can see it kind of messed up, but I didn't apply foundation yet, so it's not really a problem. So now I applied my foundation off camera and I'm going back in with that dark brown color with a flat diviner brush from Sigma Beauty, pressing this right underneath the lower lash line. Um, I had to go back in a few times again to get it like as dark as possible as I wanted it to be. And then I took that brown reddish color again and I'm going to blend that underneath the lower lash line using a pencil brush from Dose of Colors. And I just sweep my brush back and forth until I found that it looked like blended enough. I really wanted like quite some color on there because I felt like the eye look was already so soft. So I applied like as much as possible to get like most pigmentation. Now I'm using the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara from Tarte Cosmetics. I applied it off camera. Also, I applied my lashes off camera. These are from Velour. And um, I really try to really brush them into my natural lashes. I think these lashes are really pretty. I will put the name of the style I use in the description bar. So I am now finished with my eyes. I feel like it turned out really soft. Um, a little bit softer than I was hoping for. Um, but I really tried to make it like as dark as possible. But the eyeshadows in this palette are just really neutral. Um, also, I noticed that these shades are quite on the cool tone side. Which is not really that I would normally go for. I feel like warm tones suit me a lot better. And I feel like in general, like warm tones look so much better on a lot of people. So I wish this palette would have like a few more warmer colors. I think a lot of people would like that because it's just really cool, if that makes sense. So yeah, this is not really a palette that I would use again, but I do kind of... So I used to work at a makeup store where they sold Benefit Cosmetics and I always felt like there was something missing at Benefit. Uh, which was a eyeshadow palette, so I'm really happy that they finally have one. But to be honest, I kind of wish they would like include a few more warmer colors. But yeah, this is how the eye look turned out. I think it turned out quite nice. But just really soft and kind of boring. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like these colors just don't really look nice on me. But I do like how it turned out. But I'm now going to first apply something on my lips. Um, they're really dry, so I'm first going to use a liquid lipstick and do then do like a gloss on top of it to kind of hide the dryness. But of course, I'm first going to use some lip liner. I'm using this LA Girl lip liner in the shade 538, which is a really nice neutral color. So now on top of that, I'm going in with this newest color from Sigma Beauty, which is called the Anti-Venom Anti -venom Liquid Lipstick. Not sure what that means. Um, this is such a pretty color. I have already used it like three times off camera. And remember, I told you guys a few times in my videos that I always search for that perfect nude color with like a pinky undertone. And this is exactly the color that I was talking about. I think like when I compare all my current favorite liquid lipsticks to this one, I think this one has the prettiest undertone. I kind of want to use it on its own today, but my lips are super dry and I'm not really sure if you will be able to see like right through this liquid lipstick. But if it doesn't, I will definitely use it on its own because it's super pretty. Do you see how pretty that is? This is like the perfect pink nude in my eyes. Um, I feel like so many shades are too dark or too mauvey or too orangey or too brown. And I think this is just like a straight nude pink and I think it's really beautiful. 
So I don't think you can really see the dry texture uh, coming through, so maybe I will just keep it that way. I think I'm now going to finish off the rest of my face and then maybe at the end I will decide to go for a gloss anyway because I do really like lip gloss and because in the Netherlands it's always super windy, I can't really wear lip gloss very often. But when I film, like there's no wind over here, so this is always like a really nice excuse, excuse for me to wear lip gloss. So maybe I will end up with lip gloss, I'm not really sure yet. So now for my bronzer, I'll be taking the Hula Bronzer from Benefit Cosmetics. Haven't used this for super long um, because I didn't use fake tan for a long time. But now I do have fake tan on, so I think it might suit really nice. Also, I really like the texture of this bronzer. It's just really soft and it really blends nicely into the skin. Oh, and for those who wonder, I'm using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush in the shade, shade, in the number G802. I'm so used to saying like shade names, I guess. <laughs> so applying this on the cheekbones and I'm also going to apply a little bit on my forehead. So now for my highlight, I'm taking the Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter, one of my favorite highlighters. This is the second one I have hit pan on just because it's so beautiful and I just think it's like the perfect golden champagne color. So to apply this, I'm taking the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush in the shade G806. This is quite a big brush, but I feel like when you use this brush, it really applies it really softly. You just get a very nice natural finish. So I just apply it like this. For this blush, I'm taking this Sigma blush in the shade Nymphea. I can't really pronounce this, but I will put the name, of course, in the description bar. It's a really gorgeous peachy color, and I think it will suit really nicely with this look. So I'm going to use my Suiva 127 brush and blend it on the apples of my cheeks. I think this color is really pretty, but I am going in with the Milani Luminoso blush. Applying a little bit of that on top of my cheeks. Because this blush has like a very sheer sheen in it. And I think that blends really nicely into the highlighter. And then here you have the finished result. I really hope you guys enjoy watching this video. I really like how this look turned out after doing my eyes. I wasn't really sure, but now that I have applied my blush, my highlighter, my lips, I feel like this look really came together. So I really like how it turned out. I really hope you guys do as well. Um, I have a special discount code for everything uh, on sigmabeauty.com, which is a affiliate link. I do want to mention that. Um, but if you want to get this lipstick, which I would highly recommend, make sure to use that link because it will give you a discount. Also, this blush is really pretty. Um, yeah, so that's the end of the video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That will be really helpful for my YouTube channel. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Is it just me who's starting? I'm in too deep. Give me a time and